For two weeks, Elon Musk secretly tested a new AI model on millions of people without telling anyone. Not in a lab, on actual users, real conversations. Here's the thing, that model just beat ChatGPT, Claude, and every other AI in the world. And 65% of the people who used it didn't even realize they were part of the experiment. It's called Grok 4.1. And the way it got to number one is actually genius. Between November 1st and 14th, XAI ran what they call a silent rollout. They quietly swapped out the old Grok model for Grok 4.1 on a growing percentage of users across Grok.com, X, and their mobile apps. No announcement, no press release, just real users having real conversations. Then they ran blind comparisons. Users saw two responses side by side without knowing which AI generated them. The result, 65% preferred Grok 4.1. But here's where it gets wild. On November 17th, they flipped the switch for everyone and Grok 4.1 hit number one on LM Arena with 1483 ELO. That's a 31-point lead over every other model. Think about that. They tested it in production, proved it works better, then released it globally. All in two weeks. Most companies spend months on closed betas. XAI just said, let's test it on millions of actual users and see what happens. Grok 4.1 comes in two versions. And this is where it gets technical but stay with me because this matters. Version 1 is called, Grok 4.1 Thinking. Code name, Quasar Flux. It actually shows you its reasoning process before giving you an answer. Like watching someone think through a problem step by step. It's slower, but it's sitting at number one on the leaderboard. Version 2 is, Grok 4.1 Non-Thinking. Code name, Tensor. Zero thinking tokens. Just instant responses. And it's ranking number two. Here's what that means. The fast version of Grok 4.1 beats every other AI's slow, reasoning version. Including chat GPT-01 with all its chain of thought processing. But the real innovation is how they trained it. They used something called, Frontier Agentic Reasoning Models as reward models. Translation, they used advanced AI to teach the AI to evaluate its own responses at massive scale. It's like having a billion expert teachers all grading the AI's homework simultaneously. And the result? Hallucinations dropped from 12% to 4%. That's three times fewer made-up facts. Now this is where Grok 4.1 does something that actually shocked me. It understands emotions better than any AI that's ever been tested. On EQ Bench 3, which measures emotional intelligence, empathy, and interpersonal skills, Grok 4.1 scored 1586. That's the highest score ever recorded. Here's an example that shows the difference. Someone wrote, I miss my cat so much it hurts. Previous AI models would give you something generic like, I'm sorry for your loss. Grok 4.1 responded, it's okay that it hurts this much. It hurts because the love was and still is that big. That's not a programmed response. That's actual emotional understanding. And on the creative writing benchmark, it scored 1722. For context, that's a 600 point improvement over the previous best model. But why does this actually matter? Because we're not using AI for just facts anymore. We're using it for brainstorming, creative writing, emotional support, complex problem solving. And if the AI can't understand context and emotion, it's basically useless for 80% of what we need it for. And this is the strategic play most people are missing. XAI isn't trying to monetize through subscriptions. They're trying to get the best model into as many hands as possible as fast as possible. Because in the AI race, whoever has the most users generating the most conversations has the most training data. But there's a catch nobody's mentioning. This isn't available through their API yet. Meaning developers can't build apps with Grok 4.1. It's consumer only for now. You have to use it on their platforms. Which tells you exactly what their strategy is. They want you on Grok.com and X, using it daily, generating conversations, making it smarter. And now it's free for anyone to use. The AI race just got flipped on its head. And most people still don't know it happened. See you on the next video.